The ASUS ZenBook Pro 16X is one of the best crater laptops from ASUS from 2022 and has now seen some big improvements in 2023. It now has the i9-13905H, an RTX 4080 GPU, as well as system on module upgrade. Now the system on module is basically what Apple's been toting with their system on chip, except obviously they can't steal Apple's name. What it's done is it's consolidated the chipset size by 38%. It's also pushed the RAM closer to the CPU. So that 32 gigs of RAM that this system comes with is actually more powerful because of lower latency. Now on top of being integrated, it is also premium low power DRAM LPDDR5X. So this provides you with even more low latency to have faster RAM modules in your system. Now the downside for some may be the fact that you cannot upgrade this RAM. It is soldered to the motherboard. It is interconnected with the CPU. So you do have 32 gigs of RAM, but you will not have the opportunity to upgrade the system to 64 gigs of RAM. But later in the test, I'm gonna show you the improved performance over last year's model and maybe helping you make a purchasing decision of this laptop or say, hey, that's not for me, I might be looking for something else. Now, first and foremost, the build and design of this laptop has not changed. You still have the deck that rises up off of the keyboard for improved ventilation, USB type A, power adapter port to USB type C's. And on the right side panel, you have HDMI, headphone jack, and an SD card reader. You have a magnificent OLED display, which is color accurate and bright. You have the dial on the keyboard deck, so you can quickly access different tools inside of say Photoshop, or you can scroll through your timeline in Premiere Pro. There's a lot of great functionality for the dial. You have the large haptic glass trackpad, which to me is the way to go moving forward in trackpads, especially for creators. They're touch sensitive, they're very responsive, and they just feel great under your finger. And more than anything, you can click anywhere on the trackpad and it is very responsive. So really enjoying the fact that they've chosen to use and continue to use the haptic trackpad on the ZenBook Pro 16X. Now this does have a webcam. Here's a quick sample of the webcam so you can see what that looks like in use. This is the webcam on the Asus ZenBook Pro 16X and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. Now, if you wanna get a little bit more in depth on my thoughts of the usability of the dial, I've made full videos about that. I'll link them up at the end of this video for you to check it out. I'm gonna try and focus this video more on the performance improvements of this laptop. So without further ado, let's dive in and check out the performance of this year's model. And we're even gonna reference last year's model a little bit so you can see the performance improvements. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the latest ZenBook Pro 16X, I'll put links in the description below. Now, if you click and do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. From an availability standpoint, right now, the laptop is looking to be sitting at around the $33 to $3,400 price point, with last year's model at around the $2,600 price point for the i7 version, and at around the $3,000 price point for the i9 version. However, I was unable to find any new i9 versions for sale at the moment 
all I was able to find thus far, I'll link in the description below if anything changes, I was only able to find a used i9 version at around the $2,300 price point. Looking at the simulated benchmarks for Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see the single core performance is about 200 points off the top leader, the Strix SCAR 17. And for multi-core performance, we're sitting about 7,000 points off of the leader. So definitely some good performance out of this laptop, but the multi-core performance is not as good as some of the other laptops toting slightly more powerful processors, like for instance, multi-core performance from the i9-13900HX in the Legion Pro 7i. Definitely a laptop more focused fully towards performance than having the benefits of a lot of the creator aspects inside of this laptop. Now moving on to Cinebench R23, you can see we fall down the chart a little bit more, falling behind by about 250 points from the leader. Uh, and then multi-core performance though jumps back up pretty quickly, but you can still see that Legion Pro 7i beating it out by almost 10,000 points. Pretty crazy. So if you're looking for raw performance, you don't care much about the creator aspects of this laptop, and maybe the dial, the haptic glass trackpad, the keyboard that lifts up, and you might wanna to lean towards something that's dedicated for raw performance, like the Strix Scar 17 from Asus or the Legion Pro 7i from Asus. But if you're liking the creator features, this is definitely gonna be a great pick. Now, moving on into some real world benchmarks, let's see what this thing is actually capable of in app like Photoshop. You can see we're scoring a 1,098 and you can see the Legion Pro 7i is scoring a 1,229. However, if we're looking at Zenbook versus Zenbook, if we take a look at last year's model, you see the Photoshop score was an 864. So we see a big improvement this year going from last year's model with 12th gen CPU, non-SOM system, system on module RAM configuration with the CPU connected, you see that has given us a big bump in performance. So if you're considering last year's model versus this year's model, you're definitely gonna get a performance lift out of this year's model. Now looking at After Effects, we see the same thing. We see a big bump in performance from last year's model to this year. We see a 975 from this year's model. And last year's model was a 743. So a really nice bump in performance there by a little over 200 points. So definitely liking the performance increase from last year's model to this year's model. And even in comparison to other laptops in the market, it is right there up at the top of the chart. So looking really good in regards to performance. Now moving on to Blender Classroom, one of the best scores I've seen on my channel at a 1,552 inside of Blender Classroom, right behind some other powerful laptops. Last year's model that I was able to test here in my studio scored a 549. So it doubled in performance compared to last year's model with this latest RTX 4080 GPU. Now going ahead and moving on down the line to Adobe Autodesk, 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Recreo, and Solidworks, each of those tests from last year's model to this year's model was nearly double in performance. Some of them exceeded double performance. Most of them were just below or met double the performance from last year's model to this year's model. So really great performance increases. And even if you're considering the i7 from last year, it's only gonna put you out about an extra $800 to get double the performance. Now, $800 is a lot, but being that this is a premium laptop, I'm guessing that you have a budget that is ranging from around the $2,500 to maybe $3,500 range. If not, comment below and let me know what you're considering for a budget for a premium laptop. I'd really like to know where your budget are at. It helps me film better videos that are more suited towards the viewers here on the channel. So thank you so much. Now moving down the line to playback in Premiere Pro. 4K playback is looking really good without an issue for last year's model and this year's model. No changes there. But in regards to 6K B-RAW, we now see zero drop frames for 6K B-RAW from the Zenbook and only 595 6K red footage drop frames. So really good. Last year we saw about 400 drop frames for 6K B-RAW. So definitely seeing some improvements for the Zenbook. Now moving on to the export time. This is an area that I was impressed with that we saw even improvements there. Last year we saw a 17 minute and 35 second export time for 6K B-RAW. And now this year we're seeing 15 minutes and 42 seconds. So gaining a whole two minutes on the export time. Now if you extrapolate that, from the nine minute clip that I used to test that 
up to an hour, you're gonna have 12 minutes faster export time out of the latest 2023 model. So that could definitely save you some time if you're often exporting or rendering out your footage. It's definitely a great bump in performance. Now we did see some improvements for 4K video editing export times, but nothing drastic. We saw about a 20 second improvement for Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export. And then we saw about a two minute improvement for DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export. So nothing drastic. They are definitely seeing the biggest benefit in 3D modeling, in Blender in Photoshop and After Effects. If you're making a big decision between these two laptops and those are your top used apps, then the 2023 model definitely gives you that bump in performance. So remember there's links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Of course, click or tap the screen here for more videos about the ZenBook Pro 16X. I'll see you here in the next one.